Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hey guys, Zot here with another video. Today we've got something a little different. Assassination Rogues are one of the most popular DPS classes in 2v2 and 3v3 right now, and for good reason. If you don't know what they do and how to counter them, they can seem like a misery to play against. Well, no problem. We've consulted with one of the best rogues in the world, Avizura, and reluctantly asked him to spill the beans on the top 5 tips in order to counter his class of choice. Welcome to Knowing Your Enemy. Our first and probably easiest way to counter assassination is simply going to be to keep your distance. Assassination rogues prey on close and stacked up targets. This is for a few reasons. Due to the passive venomous wounds, assassination rogue loves to dot multiple targets, not only for that high spread pressure, but also as it increases their single target damage giving them more energy regeneration. This is of course easier said than done if you're playing things like a melee cleave for instance, but if you're playing a caster then always try to remain max range from your teammates to reduce their energy regeneration and potential cleave damage. This is not the only reason distance is one of our top ways to counter assassination though. Doing so, especially as a healer, will make a rogue's life a complete misery. Shadow Step is their main mobility spell, allowing a rogue to instantly teleport behind the target, but this spell has a 25 yard range, with all casters having a baseline range of 40 yards. This means rogues will be unable to get to you easily, resulting in them having a much harder job landing any crowd control like blind, step kicks or even make potential swaps. Not to mention when a rogue blinds you it's a common follow up to then secure a sap. Remaining max range from your healer at all times makes this impossible for the rogue to do. He has to blind your healer, then get back to you to deal damage, then go all the way back to your healer to sap and then back to you once again. So you can see why distance is one of our top 5 ways to counter assassination. Assassination rogues have two main offensive cooldowns that they're going to use to build pressure. These are Toxic Blade and Vendetta, with the latter being the most scary. Vendetta is on a 2 minute cooldown which can be reduced to 90 seconds with the Vision of Perfection Minor, something that almost all rogues you encounter will be playing with. What Vendetta does is it increases their damage by 30% for its duration. With Vendetta lasting for 20 seconds, this is going to be the time where you want to respect the rogue the most. The best way to counter Vendetta is to of course trade out defensive cooldowns that your class or healer provides, with Paladins being the best at countering this ability with Blessing of Protection completely removing Vendetta altogether. Alternatively, looking to crowd control the rogue for this time can heavily reduce some of their pressure. However you look to approach this strong offensive cooldown, one point stands and that's that you should respect it. Our third tip is probably the most important one on this list, and that's not wasting your trinket. Assassination as a spec loves to abuse classes who waste or don't currently have a trinket. Why? Well, rogues rely heavily around their cooldowns in order to set up kills. Yeah, I get it, they have consistent pressure outside of these anyway, but playing around these cooldowns with your trinket is going to give you a much higher chance at winning the game. I'm of course talking about Smoke Bomb and Blind. Smoke Bomb, as we all know, makes it so that when you're inside, you're unable to be targeted by people outside and vice versa, essentially creating line of sight. Assassination will often try to force your gladiator's medallion and then take advantage by securing a kill inside of a smoke bomb when your team is unable to help, so always be wary about this scenario before you use your trinket. Blind is mainly focused around healers and is something you should always try to have your trinket saved for. Why is this though? Why has it become such a common thing to instantly trade your trinket the second you get blinded by a rogue? Well, this is due to the follow up, not the blind itself so much. Blind is an 8 second crowd control that causes you to drop combat, which then allows the rogue to vanish and guarantee another 8 second CC in the form of sap. 
Okay, well, now I'm going to heavily contradict myself, but blind can often be used by the rogue simply as a way to instantly bait your trinket. And this section is all about not wasting your trinket. So before you instantly trinket that blind, you need to consider two things. First is does the rogue have vanish or is he a night elf? If the answer is no, then you can just treat blind like any other eight second CC. Is your teammate going to die? If not, just sit the blind. The other scenario that you need to assess is if the rogue is looking to blind you simply only to force your trinket to then swap to you later in the game with Vendetta. This is a common ploy assassination rogues look to do in order to secure easy kills onto healers. So before you instantly trinket that blind, wait and see what the rogue is doing. If he has Vendetta available and he's holding onto his kidney, it could be his intentions to swap to you later. When an assassination rogue is in stealth, they're able to use certain abilities that could not be used otherwise. These are Sap, Cheap Shot, and their empowered Garou. Apart from the opener, during subterfuge, or when using their two minute cooldown Vanish, assassination, unlike sub, is unable to gain access to these abilities consistently. That means the only other way to access them is by getting a restealth, and brings us to our fourth tip making sure to always stop restealths. Cheap Shot obviously just stuns you, but allowing this, especially in 3v3, can then allow the rogue to help his team with a setup, something assassination usually is less capable of. Garot, when used from stealth, not only silences you for 3 seconds, but also thanks to the trait Shrouded Suffocation, will give them added combo points and deal a ton more damage for its entire duration. The worst case scenario though, is allowing the rogue to get a re-stealth and subsequently drop in combat yourself, which then enables him to secure a sap. The moral of this story, stop the re-stealths however you can. And our final tip on how to counter assassination is getting an item that is the nightmare of all assassination rogues. Alright, so assassination rogue relies heavily on their bleeds Rupture and Garou, not only for damage but more importantly for energy regeneration. Rogues, before they look to do any burst at all, need both of these dots running onto their target, or their damage will be severely lowered. Usually though, there is nothing you can do about this, with there being extremely limited ways to remove bleeds outside of bop, mending bandage, and a few racials. But something rank 1 and tournament players have been utilising is the paramount goggles from engineering, available to every single spec and class as long as you have engineering. This is down to them being the only source of the defensive trait Auto South Cauterizer. This, if you ask any assassination rogue, is the bane of their existence. This trait has an extremely high proc chance and every time it procs, will not only heal the target for a small amount, but also remove all bleed effects forcing the rogue to have to waste 5 combo points again to apply his rupture, which does no initial damage. And if his Garot is still on cooldown, there isn't much he can do at all. Okay then guys, that's going to be our top 5 tips in order to counter assassination rogue. Hope this was useful and be sure to let us know what class you want to see next. Thanks for watching.